fact that there's a rise of flat earthers is evidence of two things. We live in a country that protects free speech. Uh -huh. We live in a country with a failed educational system. Ooh, that one hurt. But what's, what's odd is there are people who think Earth is flat, right? but recognize that the moon is round, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and the sun are all spheres, but Earth is flat. In Columbus's day, there was surely a flat Earth contingent. Okay? Yes. Columbus predates the era of experimental checking of any idea you might have. So if you want to say Earth is flat, lunar eclipses. What's a lunar eclipse? If your face is the brilliant sun, and this is Earth, mm -hmm. and the moon is over here, the sun is always casting Earth's shadow into space. It's always there no matter what. So the moon occasionally passes through that shadow. And if you see the shape of Earth's shadow on the moon, it is always round. Always round. If Earth were flat, sometimes you get like a flat shadow. Right. And we've never seen a flat shadow. Right. And the only thing that makes a perfectly circular shadow would be something that's perfectly circular. Uh, perfectly spherical. Spherical. Right. Yes. So the only thing that makes a perfect circle shadow every single time is a perfect sphere. Right. Okay? No matter what angle no matter you shot. Whereas a disc, it would only make a perfect circle if you lined it that way. Right. And so then you have to look at the face of the disc in order to get the circle. The circle. If, if any, you, other angle, any other angle, you get, other you get something of, of another shape. The Greeks shape. knew this. Right. All the lunar eclipses had, they said, oh my gosh, we must be in a round Earth. This is thousands of years. Before Columbus. Years before Columbus. Exactly. Right. So now if the Earth is round, how big is Earth? Mm -hmm. You might want to check for that. There was a famous experiment conducted by Eratosthenes. Tosthenes. Eratosthenes. Tosthenes. And the two cities in the old world, mm -hmm. and one of them, they knew that at 12 noon on a particular day of the year, that the sun was directly overhead, and you could see the bottom of a well. Oh, okay. You don't run around looking at the bottoms of wells. No. You Because the light doesn't take, it's just, no. Doesn't get down there. Doesn't get down there. How can we use this observation to see if Earth's surface is curved? We need another well. Turns out we can't see the bottom of both wells at the same time. What might explain this? Well, there are two possible explanations. First, we could have a flat Earth with the sun that's small and close by so that the light hits the second well at an angle. Or second, we could have a curved Earth with a sun that's big and far away so that all the light comes in parallel, but only one well at a time is lit all the way to the bottom. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. Eratosthenes only had two wells. But what if he had added a third? With a third well, it doesn't matter where the sun is. No flat Earth model can explain the angles of all three shadows. But the spherical model explains it all. All three angles with ease. Greeks had the angles. Yeah. Okay, in fact, geometry translates to Earth measurement. If you send a ship straight to the horizon, right. eventually it begins to disappear until it's no longer visible beyond your horizon. Right. And you should ask yourself, what kind of surface would produce that result? Um, the ocean. If, if it's con... The ocean has a ramp. <laughs> That's it. Ocean. It's like a parking lot. And the ocean has a ramp. And, and, and it's an elevator. Yeah, it's an elevator. The the, you, you get to a certain point, they just like going down. Seafarers knew this. Right. And so, what, however flat they would have imagine the Earth to be, they, they, couldn't have, they couldn't have accepted it to be completely flat, because otherwise you would never not see the ship. Okay. For me, the fact that there's a rise of flat earthers is evidence of two things. Okay. One. One, we live in a country that protects free speech. That's actually kind of awesome. And two, uh -huh. we live in a country with a failed educational system. Ooh, that one hurt. Our system needs to train you not only what to know, but how to think about information and knowledge and, 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 and evidence. If we don't have that kind of training, you'd run around and believe anything. Anything. Anything.